friends and welcome to arts and craft time today we will be learning how to tie dye some shirts it's going to be really fun and my friend miss kara is going to help you walk through all the steps that you need to get started are you ready hang tight hi friends i'm miss kara and today i'm going to show you the supplies you're going to need to do tie dyeing so first thing that you're going to need is the coloring and there you can get this at walmart there's lots of different colors to choose from. Today we have pink and red and turquoise, blue and orange. These are very simple. Then the next thing that you're going to need will be the items that will actually make the designs in your shirt. So we're gonna do the fork method right here. You're gonna need rubber bands as well. That will help make the patterns in your shirt. You'll need masking tape so that you can hold your shirt together once we have created the fork designs. We use paper plates so that we don't make a mess. We just put our shirts right on this plate. Rubber gloves so we can keep our hands clean. Plastic bags that you can just save when you go grocery shopping. And you put the shirt in here at the end and we'll show you how that works later. And then of course you're going to need your shirts. And these are just simple basic shirts that you can find at any craft store. I got mine at Walmart. And what you do is you're gonna first wash it so that it's nice and clean and pre-shrunk and you want them to be wet before you begin. Okay, one thing I did forget to mention is that you can get these little sponge paint brushes. They're less than a dollar at Walmart for a package of four and sometimes you want to make patterns and put the color in different spots on your shirt so these are great for that. If you don't want to use those, you don't have to. We're going to go with a real simple method where we bought these pre-made dye bottles. The color is already in here and all we need to do is fill the bottle and shake it and once we do that with all of the colors we'll be ready to make a shirt. Hi friends! Join us for some fun today. We're going to be tie-dyeing shirts. Okay friends, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you a simple pattern that you can make on your shirt. This is a spiral. If you've seen a spiral goes like this, okay, and we're going to make that with our shirt. So we're taking a simple fork, we have our shirt over our paper plate, and we're gonna choose where we want the spiral to be. So the fork will be the center of my spiral. And I'm gonna twist the shirt just like this, okay? And then I'm gonna wrap it, and I'm gonna keep that together with my hands, and I'm gonna move then the sleeve of the shirt onto the paper. You can do just one spiral if you want. I'm gonna make this one into three, all right? So I'm gonna do this sleeve, wrap it around, and I'm gonna take this sleeve and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna spiral it, all right? And now I have this shirt, looks like a big ball of a mess, but it's actually gonna have three spirals on it. So I'm gonna take a piece of my masking tape now, and I'm gonna wrap it all the way on the outside of my shirt, nice and tight all the way around okay and here are the results of our spirals okay hello friends this is another pattern that you can do all right so you take your rubber band and tie it around your shirt okay and you can tie this and what we're doing is we're making little knots on our shirt okay And by doing this, then I can choose the different places to put colors when it's all done. And we'll do one more right here. Two or three times around is all you need. And you can put as many as you want on there, but you're making these little knots and you're gonna color each one of these different colors. Hi friends, I'm gonna be tie dyeing shorts today. We can also tie dye towels. Yeah. Okay friends, now we're going to go ahead and apply color to the shirt. This is the shirt that we had made the spirals with. So you can do lots of different things, but you get to kind of choose what you want for a pattern. Okay, I'm gonna put blue in the center of the spirals. Like this. Okay, and I'm gonna take some pink. And I'm gonna go on the outside. And it's okay if it mixes because it's kind of fun that way because you know, pink and blue or red and blue will make a purple color. So it's very pretty. So 
So, so this is fun. now a darker blue that I'm putting on here. Okay. So you really want to saturate it because you want to make sure it goes all the way through. One of the things that I like to do also is I like to flip it over and do the other side as well. So I'm going to go all the way around the outside with the dark blue. And here's my last color of some turquoise with some colors on it. Then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to put it inside my plastic bag and let it sit for six to eight hours. And at the end of that, I'll be able to open it up and see my pattern. All right, friends, check it out. I did my own shirt and I used the rubber band method. So we'll see how that turns out. Hi friends, I hope you had fun tie-dyeing with us. Stay tuned for part two where we will show you the end results. Bye. Bye.